in this video two radio oscillators, crystal oscillators by the way, that both work in a proper way. Uh, I was trying to make an oscillator uh, regarding a VLF receiver uh, that was a not very successful experiment but anyway uh, two good uh, oscillators uh, say popped out of that first experiment. This is the first schematic that I want to show made with a field effect transistor um, originally it was made for a BF245A or B or C. These types differ somewhat and especially the A version of the BF245 is very sensitive to static charges on its gate but they are completely obsolete. So uh, my idea was of course to make the circuit with a transistor that is still available now in 2022 and that is the BF256A and you can also make this circuit, this oscillator, crystal oscillator with that field effect transistor. Uh, I had some problems with the stability of the circuit that's perhaps interesting to tell. That's the reason why I connected here a 1 mega ohm resistor between the minus and the gate of the field effect transistor. It added a lot to the stability, especially uh, for the situation that sometimes the oscillator stopped working. And that had, in my opinion, to do with charges, say not uh, proper uh, flown away charges on the gate that is say a kind of uh, uh, standard problem with field effect transistors when the gate has some charge charge uh, it sometimes doesn't function properly so at uh, the charge must flow away and when you have such an oscillator this is a test circuit by the way uh, say you, you must be able to grab it with your hands, and of course could be that due to the your uh, say the capacitance of your body, the whole thing stops, the oscillation stops. But when you move your hand away, the oscillation will must not will but must immediately start again. So uh, that is the reason for this one mega ohm resistor that bridges the crystal. Of course in a certain way it will damp the crystal. So perhaps the, the, the frequency here for a mega cycles will go somewhat down. I don't know that exactly and we can see it later on the oscilloscope. So here uh, a first demonstration. Circuit works on approximately 12 volts and we have here of course a potentiometer with which we can set the voltage to the field effect transistor. 470 ohms is always a very good value uh, for such a circuit and I will talk later about the coil here. Coils, here is a quite long text. Making coils is often a problem for hobbyists in electronics. And that's completely true. Um, I will talk later about the coil that is here in the source lead. You can use uh, factory made coils, here a few of them, but you can also use uh, make that coil yourself. I'm gonna give more information. And well, here is the waveform at the moment. I think it's very good. Good sign with oscillator with a crystal. It works on 3.9992 megahertz. That's of course also very okay. Uh, the crystal tells us that it is 4.00 megahertz, but of course there is always some damping in the circuit. There is parasitic capacitance in the circuit that bridges the crystal, brings it down to a somewhat other frequency. 
and especially a lower frequency, never a higher frequency in any way. Here is the uh, spectrum analyzer. A lot of rubbish here, by the way, caused by that oscillator. And I will stop it now with my finger. Let's see what happens. Well, this is noise coming out of other sources, not out of the oscillator. That's true. Could be my oscilloscope that uh, gives noise, uh, parasitic signals. Could be LED lamps here, etc., etc. Uh, don't worry too much. Uh, the, be uh, the decisive part is that we have here a very good, proper sine wave. About the coil in the source lead, um, you can wind it yourself. I've done that many times. Three millimeters, uh, uh, say a plastic tube of three millimeters with approximately 300 up to 600 windings with no ferrite inside works properly. And I've tested a few uh, factory made coils, they are here, and these are the results. 10 micro Henry, the oscillator doesn't work, 120 micro Henry, factory made, doesn't work, 270 micro Henry works good and 470 micro Henry also works good and we have to take in account that this is say valid for this situation on four mega cycles when you go to higher frequencies say you use a crystal of 10 mega cycles uh, these two capacitors they are very important these two capacitors have to be adapted when you go to higher frequencies and say the adaptation is not problematic at all. Do some simple experiments uh, when you want to use crystals on a higher frequency, say higher than 4 mega cycles. So, uh, one moment, a still. For the complete, complete schematic, well, uh, this is another schematic that I made, and perhaps I have will have enough time to uh, show the properties on the oscilloscope, etc. I made many, not many, but a few videos about this type of oscillator, and I will also give a link in the description about a crystal tester uh, anyway and but this type of circuit I found today that in many cases perhaps not all cases that that must be tested that the crystal uh, has say a base frequency but in this specific uh, transistor circuit it oscillates on the third overtone. I've used here a six megacycles crystal and it oscillates on 18 megacycles. Quite strange, or not strange, has perhaps to do with the properties of the crystal, but I tested two crystals and they of around uh, six megacycles and they did they had the same uh, effect. Let's say that. Well, uh, where is that circuit? At the moment I don't have it available, so believe it on my word. When you make this circuit it surely oscillates. Uh, when you use here a 6 mega cycles crystal you will get a 18 mega cycles out. Could be that my camera suddenly stops anyway. Uh, well, 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 well. Uh, this is that experimental circuit. Let's see if we can uh, say 
uh, connect it in a quick way to the uh, to the voltage. Connect the minus now. Connect the positive now. Connect here the positive lead of the power supply and now the negative lead of the power supply. Switch on the oscilloscope and perhaps we have a certain result of this circuit. Will it oscillate? Does it oscillate? Yes, it oscillates. And you can surely see, have to lift up the amplification somewhat, that we have here a uh, 6 megahertz crystal. And it oscillates on approximately 18 megahertz. So the third harmonic. Waveform is again very pure, no problem with that. Though in a certain way I had not expected it. Anyway, could be useful. Also say a useful uh, uh, crystal oscillator that you can make in this way. Using uh, such a crystal on its third overtone. Of course, do some experiments, no problem with that. Always good to do experiments. Let me show what happens when we change the value of this, this potentiometer. It is 220 ohms or 250 ohms the, uh, and it sets the bias of the uh, first transistor, of the, the oscillation transistor. And also here you see perhaps strange 120 picofarad a bridge with 4700 uh, 4, picofarad that has to do with, an, with the experiment in this case for this say low or not low frequency the 4 and 7 uh, capacitor worked worked at its best. So, I want to demonstrate finally the effect of uh, turning the bias potentiometer. Biasing is always very important. Uh, I know Richard of All American 5 Radio has made a special video about biasing. It's extremely important and critical. So here I take change the bias of the oscillator. Let's see what happens. So here the oscillation stops. Turn the potentiometer somewhat and more. So here, here there is the say best point, the best bias where that oscillation works at its best or say the oscillator circuit works at its best on now 17.9 megahertz. Thanks for watching. Uh, of course these are in a certain way breadboard circuits. I know that but they surely work, both of these circuits surely work when you make them on a neat perf board or a printed, uh, a printed board, etc, etc. They surely work. And that was more, all, more or less all that I wanted to tell. Thanks for watching again. By the way, uh, <coughs> this is, I think, the most interesting circuit. And again, for other frequencies, do some experiments with the values of these two capacitors.